Is Abercrombie and Fitch founder Mike Jeffries is stepping down as the CEO. That is effective immediately. The retailer has struggled to keep pace in the team market and is the latest target of activist investor engaged capital. Well, Bloomberg's Julie Hyman uh, joining us now on this. And Mike Jeffries steps down, stock goes up 7%. Yeah, I mean, it, this, the company has been really struggling for a while. The teen retailers generally have, so it's not alone, but Abercrombie has been a really high-profile case of this. And it's been faced with a number of different things. First of all, the logos that Abercrombie really became known for, teens aren't into them anymore. Second of all, it has a lot of competition from the likes of Forever 21 and H&M, all the fast fashion brands, in many cases are cheaper and are cooler in the eyes of teenagers. So that's part of the issue. And then you also have the customers, the traditional customer at Abercrombie that have basically aged out of it. Yes. And they're not being replaced by the younger teenagers <clears throat> that are now coming up. So indeed, Engage Capital came in, has pushed for changes. It's not a large shareholder, but it has been a very vocal shareholder. So Abercrombie's already made some changes to its management structure. For example, there's a new chief operating officer. There are uh, four independent directors that have been appointed to the board uh, that were uh, put forward by Engage Capital. There's also new brand presidents that are leading the Abercrombie brand and the Hollister brand. So it looks like the wheels had been put in motion. Yeah for Jeffries to leave, but the question is, why leave now? Mm. We are less than a month until Christmas. The timing, according to many of those I'm speaking to, is unusual, so we're trying to get to the bottom of why exactly they wouldn't wait until after the holidays. Right, and, and, and you never know with these kinds of moves, right, what the internal dialogue uh, was or is, but, you know, Mike Jeffries is, is a very strange CEO, right, I and mean, he's very quirky. Well, he's very quirky. He's been controversial. That is certainly the case. Um, there was an interview he did with Salon.com back in 2006 where he talked about that he only wanted good-looking people to shop at the stores, only skinny people to shop at the stores. Those comments had sort of faded, and then they flared up again, I guess it was last year, and caused a lot of controversy More, yeah. once again. And, you know, those kinds of comments, if you're a CEO who's riding on top and your brand is very successful, you can withstand that much better than if your brand is on weaker positioning as it is uh, more recently. So yes, he is eccentric. There have been reports that um, that his partner, for example, has that is his part, his personal partner, um, has a lot of influence at the company. That he has staffed the company with uh, people who he is close with. So yeah. it'll be interesting now to see what happens. You know, sort of the the what the next. Uh, shoot a drop will be. At the it's end. so true though. If you're making money for everyone and you're rich and you say the weird things and you do weird things, you're like a, a, an eccentric genius. But once you start losing, yes, then you're just you're, weird. You're, yes, you're not <laughs> quite as uh, as Teflon. No, as you you're were not before. Exactly. Um, I should mention as well that Jeffries, we should make clear, is stepping aside without a replacement. Another question about timing here. And uh, Abercrombie has said it has hired an executive search firm to find his replacement. But again, the idea that they that he would retire or was pushed out without someone to succeed him immediately again is a little curious. That is.